Hello Stampers, Patsy Wagner here today with Stamps to Die For and I'm just going to show you a fun, quick and easy fun fold card using the Let It Snow suite of products from Stampin' Up. This is just a fun, easy card um, that is a motion card and usually kids really love motion cards so I think I'll use this for my grandkids to tuck a little bit of cash in for the holidays. Part of that Let It Snow suite um, comes with the Snowfall Accents Puff Paints. And I'm not going to be using this today, but stop over on my blog on Saturday and you'll see a really cute little card used with the Snow Fluff, uh, Snow Fluff, Snowfall Puff Paint. Another part of that suite is this fun kind of corded like ribbon. Um, it's just a really fun ribbon or cording and this is the winter knit embossing folder um, this is what it looks like and hopefully you'll be able to see the design of that it's a 3d winter knit uh, stampin up embossing folder now with the new 3d winter knits they're a little bit thinner than the the old dynamic folders and thicker than a regular embossing folder so you would just need to shim it either with a really, really thin piece of, um, you know, tag board or maybe even just a couple sheets of paper. But Stampin' Up! does have this great embossing plate that is only like $10 and you, it, you know, you use it with the embossing folder, makes it really easy. You don't have to guess each time how many pieces of paper to put in. This is the Let It Snow Designer Series paper. Um, this isn't part of that, but this is the red glimmer paper that's also part of that suite of products. And here is the specialty paper. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see, probably easier on the little snowman, all the little um, glitter on there. And it's a glitter that doesn't come off, so that's always a nice plus. Even our, our red glimmer paper the new glimmer papers don't come off like the old glimmer paper it used to be like if you used them you had glitter forever you know for days so these are two-sided we have a whole bunch of little snowmen on this one with a stripe so you could use these you know for valentine's day coming up also um so they're one side you know in minnesota we can use snowman probably six months out of the year for even birthday cards and then this one is also fun too with the, the uh, snowman on it. There is this great snowman builder punch. And just to show you how fun this is, you can use this punch and go in and punch out the snowman um, from this paper or use it to punch out and build a snowman with the snowman season. So that's, you know, you can buy these as a bundle or you can buy all these items in a suite of products also. Along with that um, bundle or suite of products is the Let It Snow embellishment kit. And this comes with, um, you know, some things to build your snowman. This one here. I'm going to make a, a shaker card out of these. I haven't gotten around to that. There's some glimmer paint or tape, washi tape. And then you get all these little fun embellishments. The scarf. Um, you know goes on the little snowman there's a hat you can put on either snowman like this and also these cute little mittens so that's a fun fun little embellishment kit you can buy all these things individually or as part of the let it snow suite of products so today I'm going to be using the snowman season stamp set to create our fun pop-up card we're going to take, and you know, because um, I don't want my videos to get too long, and some things are harder to show on this little small camera space. So I've taken a five and a half, or excuse me, five and a half by eight and a half piece of blueberry bushel cardstock. And on the front, I've glued a piece of Let It Snow designer paper, four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then I took one of the layering circle punches, or shit, oops, that's the wrong one. The layering circle dies, which come with regular straight cuts or scallops. And I've taken um, 
one of the dies and made a hole in the front of the card. I glued this first and cut it together so that you know they were easier to line up that way. And another thing when you get to your card making a bone folder is really essential to give you really nice clean folds especially on a card like this where we're making it a fun fold. So on this one I have taken a piece of Whisper White. This is five and a quarter by six and a half and I've scored it at a half an inch, two and a half inches, four and a half inches. And I'm going to fold these up by trying to remember exactly. i got to grab my card because... So we're going to fold this one this way. You kind of do it like the old fans or accordion fold like that. And then we're going to do this one like this. Oops. Okay. There we go. So we have this kind of, this is the shape I believe that I want. Actually, I want it this way. So this is going to go inside our card. This little flap is going to go towards the center. This one's going to come out. So I did it backwards. So you're going to want it like this. And we're going to start by putting, gluing this to this area here. So I'm going to put the glue on this back panel maybe time to get out my new one one thing i have i used to use t uh, adhesive tape exclusively but with my aging eyes i have found that the flexibility of this type of glue where i can slide it around you know for a good little bit of time before it's permanent um, once you use this tear tape it's it's permanent permanent so we're going to adhere this to this part of the card, but we have to do another step before we do that. So I'm going to go on to the next step. Now I have pre-cut out our circle using the stitch shape circles. I could have used a circle from the layering circles, but I love this stitched area. And the stitched shapes circles, or the stitch shapes have circles squares and ovals and these layer very very nicely with the layering circles so they're a great complement to each other and you can see i've got one of the layering circle scallops i'm just going to put under here but i'll need to stamp that first with our memento ink so i'm taking our um, snowman from the let it snow and i'm going to just stamp him and here like this. You get such a nice crisp black with the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And now we're going to color them a little bit. And I love to use Stampin' Blends. If you haven't tried the Stampin' Blends, these are an alcohol marker and they are really, really great to work with. I'm just going to go in and color these little stripes here with the fine point. They're a double-sided, so if you were going to color, I'll show you in a minute, color a larger area. And I've taken the shaded spruce light and colored it. And um, I'm going to go down and color this area. So I'm going to go back in with the fine point and catch those little ones I missed earlier. And then I'm going to color the top of his hat in the red. Now we could leave it just like that and that would be good. Or we can highlight it. And on the other one I highlighted both sides, but I think on this one, just for something a little different, I'm going to, going to just outline this one side of the snowman like this. 
and a little bit of the snow down here and you can leave it like that but I've taken my lifter this is a color lifter and by going in and just brushing the edges of this with the fine point it kind of softens up that line and will create more of a shadow look and you could do it on the snowman himself which I have done in some cards I've made where I've just put the shadowing inside the snowman instead of on the outside. But for this one, I want it on the outside. But I'll show you the difference in the two because I think this is a lot better looking. Now for this one, I am going to take my snail because it's easier to line this one up. And with snail, again, like I always say, you want to burnish it and press hard so that it stays where it needs to stay. And now we're going to place, um, we're, I want to make a little line here because we're going to cut this area right here out of the thing. So we're going to cut in and I want to cut it a little more than I need it because I don't want any of that to show. So we're going to cut that and then we're just going to go in and simply cut where the score mark is. So you're gonna have this little voided area, but it really is gonna be fine because we're gonna stick our little snowman um, on that area. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do that now. Well, I'll do this first. We're gonna take some tear tape. This is, you know, what I really recommend for motion cards. It's a tear tape, you stick it on like this, and the reason you call it tear tape is you can simply tear it. And I need to take a backing because it has a little backing on it, so I'm gonna take my piercing tool and just grab that backing like that. Otherwise, I mean, I do have fingernails, but it's just a little easier this way. And now I'm going to simply Fold my card like this. You can see why I wanted that area because it, it doesn't. So then that creates our fold. Now we need to put our little snowman in here like this. So we're going to put our adhesive just on this side of the snowman. Make sure I get it right. Half the time, this is when I do something upside down. And we're just going to stick that in our little window like this. And now we've got our card. See how quickly that we made that and how simple it is? And I think I'm gonna stamp a little greeting inside here right here just to let it snow and then we'll put a greeting on the outside for some reason I am a person that needs words on the outside of my card now not everybody does but for some reason to me it looks unfinished so I'm going there are times when it just doesn't work out but for the most part, I like to have words on the front of my cards. So I'm going to stamp, hoping this season builds heartwarming memories. And I'm going to adhere that to the, the red glimmer paper. And I'm going to use some dimensionals because I really love to have... Um, some dimension to my cards and I always like popping up things so I'm going to put that right in the center of that red and then I'm going to glue that to the front of our card and there we have our fun fold pop out card you can see how you can now adjust that with that, that and it dries pretty quickly. So there we have our card. 
I'll grab the other one so you can see the difference with the shadowing. Um, and one is just a little more dynamic. Oh, I guess I put blue on that instead of the shaded spruce. Well, there you go. I like them both ways. Oh, and I have to add my little buttons. Almost forgot the embellishment. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to grab two of these little pieces of charcoal for the buttons. Like this. And we could even give him a carrot nose if we wanted. So let's try that. I didn't have that on the last one, but there you go. So we've created a little snowman for the winter. Isn't he cute? With a fun fold pop-up card. I hope you enjoyed today's inspiration. For more inspiration, stop by my blog at www.stampstodiefor.com. Happy stamping!